The Intergovernment Authority on Development, IGAD, has held a ministerial meeting to endorse the implementation of a roadmap for transhumanist protocol. This ministerial meeting was for IGAD ministers responsible for livestock and pasture development. The endorsed protocol will be submitted to the IGAD Council of Ministers of Foreign Affairs for signing and adoption by the IGAD Summit. The communities that are mainly targeted by the Transhumanist Protocol are within the arid and the semi-arid areas of the IGAD region. These communities are related in terms of culture, language, livelihoods and intermarriages. It goes a long way to not only improve the productivity and production of, the, of livestock in the sector, but also to immediate conflict, to tone down the conflict. Because uh, one of the tenets in this is that we will be mapping the routes where the animals are passing and the herders are passing. Therefore, you will know when they are coming. You know where the animals are being grazed. So you reduce the conflict. You can also be able to position services for them. The protocol has already been developed to facilitate free, safe, and orderly cross-border mobility of the transhumanist livestock and cadres in search for water and pasture as an adaptation mechanism to climate viability within the IGAD region. The ministers signed a communique for the endorsement of the implementation roadmap aimed at promoting an orderly free movement for transhumanists to exploit the full social and economic potential of the pastoral system. Extreme weather conditions such as drought brought about by climate change places pastoralists in persistent conflicts for pasture and water. As a result, pastoralists have been and will continue moving with their animals. For us, Uganda, we are more interested in the safety nets to make sure that people don't migrate. If they are looking for water, let's provide for water. If they are looking for pasture, let's find a way of irrigating, let's find a way of giving animal feeds so that they don't migrate. Because the population is increasing and the land that is for pastoral communities is shrinking. So the, the future uh, of the pastoralist problem he resides in, in the government, investing in addressing those challenges. Uh, we have other uh, protocols that are going to support this protocol. One of them is the uh, cross-border animal health uh, protocol. We have uh, the informal cross-border trade protocol. We also have uh, integrated early warning and early response mechanism in place. So there are other tools that we have uh, to support this protocol. And it's very important that this protocol uh, and the implementation roadmap are actually approved by our member states. Transhumanus is a net contributor to the economies of IGAD region and contributes 6 to 10 percent of the GDP of these economies. Pasture livestock supports 70 percent of the livelihoods of the IGAD region, which is actually the only region that is self-sufficient in its needs for meat in Africa, exporting about 12.8 heads of sheep and goats as well as 60,000 tons of meat every year.